Now I know the year's been a little unusual, with economic slumps and elbow bumps, floods, fires and funerals, mass exposures and border closures, the fights to flatten the curve, but not fatten our curves. It's us or wait, but wait. Despite the drama we've been witnessing, feeling 2020's been quite limiting, the good news remains. God doesn't do social distancing. It's true, for if you draw near to Him, He'll draw near to you. You see, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Once viewed as far removed, some angry old dude, white hair, long beard, peering over clouds, clutching a fistful of lightning bolts, getting ready to launch assaults on bad people, like me. And though that was my image of God from my youth, nothing could be further from the truth. For the one that called forth all creation in a celestial celebration of cosmic kaleidoscope as darkness collides with hope, weaving galaxies into tapestries, exhaling heaven into humanity, he left eternal glory and stepped down into our story. One silent night interrupted by a blinding light as an angelical spectacle appeared from on high, announcing joy to the world, good news for mankind. For on this first day of Christmas, God's true love sent to all, delivered from His heart to yours, wrapped in a bundle so small, the sounds of Gaga. For under a star is born, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. God in human form. Majesty in a manger, King of kings, wrapped in ragged things, divinity dressed in humanity. You see, this is the good news of the season. There's faith, hope, love we can all believe in, broadcast by a star and an angel, crying out, O come all ye faithful, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, the first Noel, love's gift to us, Emmanuel. God is with us. So may the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Merry Christmas.